Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to start off by saying that this is by no means a military YouTube channel. I just like to talk about planes, and a lot of the coolest planes just happen to be in the military sector. <clears throat> so without further ado, war is bad, but planes are rad. Germany was very cooked, meaning very fuckled duckled in the head, like Jonathan. Don't you think you make those jokes too much? Like Jonathan. Don't you think you talk too much? But, and as a half German, I say this very carefully, they still made them funky planes. And also after Germany was done being fuckled duckled in the head, they also made some of those planes. Who the fuck wrote this script? So let's start with the fuckled duckled in the head plane. The Messerschmitt Me-262 Schwalbe. Now, this was the world's first fighter jet, and it was conceived in 1938 and made its first flight in 1941. And as you can see, it indeed has jet engines, to be specific, two 004B turbine engines, which, much like a select few elite people in the comment section, also hold the title of first in the category of production turbojet engines in operational use. Anyway, they provided 8.8 kN or 1,980 pounds of thrust each, giving the Messerschmitt a top speed of 869.4 km per hour. Now, thankfully, the Messerschmitt didn't affect the war all too much, but it did introduce features adopted on following aircraft, such as WAIT! Don't forget the intro. So you're a furry? Stop. Number one, swept wings, which have better aerodynamic characteristics when approaching the speed of sound. Number two, wing slots, which allow for a lower stall speed, better handling at lower speeds and a higher AOA by allowing air to flow from underneath the wing to the top of the wing. Number three, underslung engine nacelles, which have a range of benefits, for example, counteracting the bending of the wings, which is indeed something wings do when in flight, and ease of maintenance. Next plane, the Panavia Tornado. Now, this plane was and is used by the post-war, not fucko duckled in the head Germany, also known as the Bundesrepublik Deutschland. Now, holy shit, is that a variable sweep wing design like the famous Grumman F-14 Tomcat from the 1986 hit movie Top Gun? Yes, it is. And like the F-14, this is for being fast, and this is for being slow and maneuverable, and it reduces length needed for takeoff. So, the Tornado was made by a consortium of the UK, Italy, and Germany called the Panavia Aircraft GmbH. You don't even know what consortium means. You just copy-pasted that into the script. So, technically, it's not a German plane, but it still makes up a very substantial amount of Germany's Air Force. Also, I already did all the research for this plane, so even if it's just one-third German, it's going in the video. So, the first variant of the Tornado was the Indictor, Indic, in, Interdictor Strike Fighter Bomber, or IDS. Oh, so, the first variant of the Tornado, the Interdictor Strike Fighter Bomber, or IDS, was the first European military aircraft to be equipped with a fly-by-wire flight control system, which was still pretty new at the time. And Chief Test Pilot Paul Millet at the time said, and I quote, it was a big step in the dark controlling an aircraft purely by electronics. Yeah, scary. So, a variant very much used by Germany and Italy, I swear I can justify the title, was the Tornado ECR, ECR meaning Erect Come Retainer, or more accurately, Electronic Combat Reconnaissance. So, this variant was made for suppression of enemy air defenses, meaning it was equipped with sensors to detect radar usage, and it is equipped with anti-radiation AGM-88 harm missiles. Get it? Harm, because they cause a lot of harm. Goddamn sad humanity moment. So there I was, waving to Patricia, but she didn't even look- Now the difference between the Italian version and the German version was that the Italian ECR lacked built-in recon capability, instead using reconnaissance pods. And the Luftwaffe's ECRs are equipped with the RB199 MK105 engine, which had a higher thrust rating than the Italian version, which just used spaghetti as propellant. 10 out of 10. It 10 out of 10, a Italy joke. Furthermore, the German ECR doesn't have gunnathan. Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe, as well as check out the links down below. Also, leave a comment, because I do read them. I, I, I say that every time, but I, I really do read them. So, do do that, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, Fida's in.